Hey Wrangler 4xE fans, just finished a project that I did not document as I was doing it, but uh, it's a project I have wanted to do for the longest time, and you may be wondering what are those right there? Well, I'll tell you what those are. For as long as I've had my Wrangler 4xE, one of the things I wished I could see is when the uh, brake lights are firing with Max Regen. And, uh, you know, with Max Regen turned on, I just wanted to see when are the brake lights coming on. So uh, I had this idea, year, you know, like a year ago when I first got this thing. And it's kind of inspired by my dad's old 68 Cadillac. And if you're familiar with the old Cadillacs, they had like a little, uh, little indicator back there that you could see when the left turn signal, right turn signal, or when they both came on, the brakes were on. Well, in my case, this one will light up red when the brakes come on, and it is wired to my third tail light. And these are wired to my reverse lights, and that's because I have um, a kind of a thing going on here where if I hit my aux three button, that light comes on because it's telling me that, hey, these guys are on. Now, of course, if it's night, I can see that, but if it's during the day, I really had no indication other than that button that those lights were on, and I wanted some sort of indication. The other thing that it does, of course, when you put your foot on the brake, the red light comes on. So let's go for a little drive, and we can see how this works with the uh, Max Regen. Now, of course, you may be wondering why would I put them back there? Why would I not put those indicators up here on the dash? Well, if I'm uh, driving along and I let my foot off the accelerator, I can see that light come on in my rear view mirror. And if I reach over here and hit my aux three button on, I can see that my reverse lights turn on. So it really, uh, it's really double duty. Anytime I'm driving along, I'm, I'm using my rear view mirror and I'm looking at traffic behind me. And one of the things I have wanted to know is, am I signaling the way I think I'm signaling when I'm using Max Regen? Am I giving the people behind me fair warning? And uh, so uh, right there, you can see it came on. And as we get a little closer to a final stop, you will see that the, uh, the light will go out. And right now I'm not signaling in any way to the people behind me that I am slowed down unless I reach over and put my foot on the brake like I just did there. So I, that's one of the things that I just kind of picked up on that it's kind of a thing that I wish they designed in with some way that we could see as drivers that we could see when Max Region was firing that brake light. And uh, that way, if we're sitting at a, in a situation where we're um, slowed down, but we don't have our foot on the brake, that the people behind us may not see any lights or anything, may not realize what we're doing there. And uh, and I'll demonstrate that again right here. I'm gonna allow the brake, the system just to slow down. And look at this, I'm still rolling a little bit. If this were a, a traffic stop or whatever, and I was just allowing the vehicle to slow, the people behind me wouldn't know that I am braking unless I actually put my foot on the brake. So. There you go. There's a little project idea for you if you uh, are into stuff like this like I am. And uh, yes, it was a pain in the butt. It was not an easy project because I did have to get the, um, the light run all the way through the uh, plastic guards around the roll bar down into the rear end. And uh, so it wasn't an easy project, but uh, there you go. Just wanted to share that as an idea. If, if you wanted to do something like that and be able to see when your brake light is actually triggering to let the people know around you what's going on. So there you go. Thanks for watching.